Hello everybody. In the contemporaneous world, the scientists and researchers are worried about how the world will sustain with the chronological decrease of the energy found from the fossil fuel. In this regard, fuel cell came as a solution of this problem. Now, what is fuel cell? Definitely there are a number of musings about the fuel cell. Among them, I choose something like this. A fuel cell is a device which converts the chemical energy into the electricity through a chemical reaction by using positively charged hydrogen and oxygen. Definitely there are different types of fuel cells according to their characteristics. But if you want to use a fuel cell, you have to know about its advantage, its disadvantage, why you want to use it, why you want to use it. Keeping all these points in mind, if anyone search for a fuel cell which can sustain with a higher temperature but provide a higher power generation and without using any kind of catalyst, definitely there will be a suggestion for a fuel cell which name is molten carbonate fuel cell. Let's see what is molten carbonate fuel cell. This is molten carbonate fuel cell and here there is the anode and the cathode. Anode is negatively charged and the cathode is positively charged. Both anode and cathode are nickel based. But anode is nickel alloyed with aluminium and the cathode is converted to the lithium nickel oxide. Here we have to use liquid electrolyte which is in the form of sodium or potassium carbonate. Now, we have to allow hydrogen for any kind of outer source which will react with the carbonate and provide a 1 mole of H2O, 1 mole of CO2 and 2 mole of electron. We have to remove H2 in this way and the carbon dioxide will recycle in this way and will reach in the cathode compartment. The 2 mole electron will travel from anode to the cathode in this way and this guy will provide electricity to any kind of external source. Now the electron which will came from the anode to the cathode will meet with carbon dioxide and the oxygen in the cathodic compartment and provide CO3 to minus which will replenish the electrolyte. Now the cell reaction is H2 plus half O2 plus CO2 equals to H2O plus CO2. Now there are some characteristics of molten carbon fuel cell. Here there is a temperature 600 degrees Celsius to 700 degrees Celsius, pressure 1 to 8 atmosphere, power generation 0.3 to 300 megawatt which is immense and the efficiency is 60 to 70 percent now there is advantage and disadvantage definitely there is no unmixed blessing on the earth and no star can shine without darkness the excess heat which we got from this fuel cell is effective or harmful will depend on how you are handling it now the disadvantages are the electrolyte is a liquid so there is a complexity in handling it rather than handling a solid electrolyte and the excess heat will reduce the lifetime of the fuel cell. Now if you go through the advantage, the excess heat what was the disadvantage will be an advantage of this fuel cell. The industry can use this excess heat to vaporize the water and the excess heat will increase the kinetics of the reaction dramatically. And another important point is that we have to use H2 to start the reaction and we will get it from any kind of fuel. The excess heat will help us to provide this H2O. So just for why this fuel cell need not any kind of external reformer and doesn't need any kind of catalyst which also reduce 
the cost of this fuel cell and if we can use this waste heat effectively we can easily increase the efficiency from 60 percent to the 85 percent and here the power generation is 0.3 to 300 megawatt but if anyone wants he can increase it up to 10,000 megawatt due to higher operating temperature we can use it in the industrial purpose we can't use it in the domestic purpose finally if i make you bored i'm sorry and thank you if you enjoy it